This is my Lenovo ThinkStation P520. I use it for gaming, streaming, video editing, I remote desktop into it for my other PCs around the house. It's pretty much my workhorse PC and it's been so great, especially for the price. See my Budget Beast video for more on that. Current specs on this ThinkStation has an Intel Xeon W2135 CPU, 6 cores, 12 threads with a base clock of 3.7 GHz with boost speeds to 4.5 GHz. My GPU is an RTX 4060, which honestly has been a very solid GPU for what I do with this PC. A 1TB M.2 SSD and a 500GB M.2 SSD for a total of 1.5TB. It comes with a whopping 900 watt stock power supply, which is more than enough. And lastly, it came with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which we will be focusing on in this video here. So the thing about the 16 gigs of RAM in this ThinkStation is that it's only one stick of RAM. It's a 16 gigabyte Micron DDR4 ECC 2666 megahertz stick to be exact. And the big thing about it is that it's only taking up one channel of memory in this workstation, when since it's technically a server PC, it can hold up to four channels of memory. Your typical gaming PC only has two channels of memory, so that's what makes these server PCs unique. But the big question is, does this even matter if we're focusing on gaming? The idea here is that the additional RAM will help boost the CPU's performance and in turn increase gaming performance as well. So I purchased four sticks of 8 gig DDR4 ECC 2666 megahertz RAM to fill up each channel for a grand total of 32 gigabytes. Now this ThinkStation can hold as much as 256 gigs of RAM, which is just crazy. And for that you would need eight sticks of 32 gigs each, which is way overkill what I'm using this for. Now keep in mind, in order for each channel to be active, it needs at least one stick in it, which is why I install one stick into each channel instead of two sticks into two channels. Down the road, if I wanted to double down and have two sticks per channel, I could for a total of 64 gigs of RAM, which isn't the worst idea for future proofing. All right, now let's test some in-game benchmarks, starting off with a newer game, Lords of the Fallen. I wanted to test this one because it was developed on Unreal Engine 5, and since its release, it has known performance issues across the board, even including consoles. I'm testing here in 1440p low with DLSS quality upscaling, as well as frame generation turned on. It will be interesting to see if just an increase and RAM will make any difference, and as we can see right off the bat, it does seem to provide a bit of a boost in terms of frames per second. This is one of the more choppy areas in the game, especially when I switch to the Umbral Realm as I did just there, where you notice performance drops down significantly. You'll also notice that more RAM is being utilized with the 32 gig 4 channels, which is taking stress off the CPU in terms of the percentage it's being utilized. The GPU is fully maxed out, but that's to be expected, especially on these settings with this game. But the fact we're seeing an uptick in performance with the RAM upgrade is pretty promising. Next up, we have Fortnite, 1440p low settings with DLSS quality upscaling, and you can tell right away we are seeing a huge difference in performance. The single channel RAM is straight up struggling after jumping off the bus, getting all sorts of frame dips. Fortnite is one of the more CPU intensive games, which is why I wanted to make sure to test this one. And you can see with the single channel RAM, the CPU is just about maxed out. However, with the four channel RAM, the CPU is cruising along without any sort of bottleneck and letting the GPU do its thing. And we're seeing crazy increases in FPS, upwards of 40 to 50 additional frames per second in some scenarios here. I think it's safe to say this RAM upgrade will help me get a few more kills in Fortnite going forward. Last up, we're checking out some full system benchmarks, starting with Cinebench. On the left, you have the scores before the RAM upgrade, and on the right, the scores after. One crazy number is the GPU score after the RAM upgrade, which, honestly, I kind of want to test the single channel RAM again to see if something got messed up. But the main numbers here are the CPU, multi-core, and single core. The single core went down a bit after the upgrade, but again, if I tested it one more time, I bet we'd see different results. But the big one is the boosted multi-core score at 388 points over 330 after the upgrade. 3D Mark Time Spy shows another CPU increase with a score of 6994 versus 6297, an almost 700 point increase. The overall score is up by about 200 points as well, so I think it's safe to say that the 4-channel RAM increase absolutely increases performance across the board in this PC.
If you have a Lenovo ThinkStation or another server PC or even a gaming PC with only two RAM channels, make sure to utilize all of those channels and upgrade the RAM as much as you can because as you can see from these results, it does make a difference. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing or even making a small donation to the channel through Super Thanks or membership. It will help me buy all the parts needed to keep these videos coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.